Bama Q is back on the road with a new flaming hot show, The Steakout. We're stoking the fire and raising the stakes as the country's top grill masters go for broke. <laughs> Watch dreams come true while others go up and smoke as the teams chase points, bragging rights, and trophies. So gather around the pit, it's Bama Q time. Bama Q. I'm Lisa Blackwell, and we're here for day two of the Bama Q SCA Grilling on the Golf Steak Cook-Off at the Floor Bama in beautiful Orange Beach, Alabama. We've got more than 50 steak cooks battling it out in a double steak, double ancillary competition. The cooks are going to be putting their side dish skills to test, cooking a pork steak and a seafood soup. The total prize package is more than $9,000 in cash. Let's see who can smoke the competition and go home a winner. They're decent, not my favorite. I'd rather be like more towards the back, more like in the 30s, but it's okay, I still got a decent middle of the pack. I'm with Sunny Moon here, and you won the steak at World Food Competition. I did. Tell me about that. How awesome was that? That was intense. It was pretty surreal to me because going into it, we had to cook a New York strip, which we normally cook ribeyes. So we did a New York strip, and I took first. In the finals, I cooked a filet mignon with two side dishes for 10 judges and ended up taking first. So we're in line right now. I'm number 37 today, so I've got to wait for my turn to go up to the steak table. I'm going to flip this one. And what are you looking for here? I am looking for the three mussels mm -hmm. and a good marbling in all of them. Good luck to you. Thank you. Tell me why you picked this one. All right, so when I am picking out a steak, I am looking for like all three of these mussels, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for good marbling in between all of them. I don't want any large gristle. Sometimes you'll see like these gristle lines and they'll get pretty large. I don't want that because that's gonna be a chewy bite for the judges and I don't wanna provide that to them. Mm -hmm. I want an even thickness when it's laying flat on the table, and I like the good sizes of all three of those mussels as well. All right, Sonny, good luck. Thanks. It's a double cook today. I think there's maybe 48 for steak A and 38 or 40 for steak B. And a good crowd. The heavy hitters are here. We're gonna have to bring A game today. And then last night we had a steak cook also. Uh, I didn't bring my A game. I think it was more like a elf, uh, elf game because it was, it was pretty rough. But, <laughs> but we're going to bring A game today. Uh, a lot of good cookers here. I'm here with Jason Kane of Beach Bum Barbecue, and Jason, you've got a really cool story about your grill here, right? How'd you get that? Yes, my wife runs a postal route actually, and she was keeping an eye out for grills on the side of the road because I needed something to come and do this competition <laughs> with. And we found this old puppy, brushed her up. It was down near Fort Morgan. Look at that. And she, she does well. She holds a good temperature, and being my first competition, we'll see how it all rolls. Hey, we'll recycle, reuse, right? Absolutely, it's got a little heritage to it. How excited and nervous are you? All the above. <laughs> a little nervous, I got a good steak selection, so. Cool, are you doing two? I'm or? only doing one. Just, just doing one. Just because being brand new, I'm gonna just try not forget any skewers, any string, <laughs> don't want a DQ. <laughs> yeah, we had somebody yesterday, I think you saw up on stage, yes, I had one of those, so. <laughs> Absolutely, it happens to the best of them. All right, well, good luck to you today. Thank you so much, okay. have a great one. Have a good one. Hey Morgan. Hey Lisa, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You know, I heard that as of last night, you didn't know what a pork steak was. I did not know I was going to cook a pork steak. And now today you're cooking one, yeah. And now I'm cooking one. So what's your plan? Well, I thought it'd be awesome to do a, a fried pork steak with a good old country, you know, white pepper gravy. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of got set to the side. So now we're smoking it. I'm actually going to do what I would do a reverse sear on a steak, but I'm doing to do a reverse sear on a pork steak. Good buddy Russ over there let me borrow his smoker for a little bit. And uh, so we're going to get it up to temperature where I want it. Then we're going to bring it over here and put on the hasty bake and get some nice grill marks on it and 
turn in and see how it goes. Hey, you know, I'll tell you, now, I, I know you're really good at this, okay? Not taken <laughs> away from that, but you have some great luck. <laughs> I mean, you do. <laughs> You're right. I you're mean, right. you'll start, you'll do something maybe you haven't done before, and boom, Morgan's like number one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm interested to see how this goes. So we know that you're a big fan of trophies. That's, That's a major true. motivator. <laughs> um, what do you think of the trophies here? Dang, I want to take one of those home. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I Absolutely. Got beautiful trophies here this year. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to wish you good luck. Thank you so yeah. much. Boom, blow it up. Yeah. Maybe that will help. <laughs>
and he got into this a few years ago and then I started doing kids cues like pork chops and stuff like that and then when I got to the age where I could do steak with the adults I was all in and I've just been kind of working my way through and learning as I go. I just burnt my butter. Is there anything you can do about it? Yeah, I can dump it and start over. <laughs> the, 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 the bone. It's the bone. Dang it, you bone. Who knew there was a bone in a pork steak? I mean. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, hey Lisa, hey. how are you? <laughs> okay, how did your pork steak turn out? I think it turned out pretty good. It's uh, It looks you know nice and moist. We got a glaze on top of it. So what I've been told is like a steak, they start cutting right about you know at this point and mm -hmm. then they move around. So I want to place it in the box a certain With way. this part. Correct. The, towards the opening end. Yep, and then I'll just come back through here and kind of clean up, right? The way they do it is as you open the box, mm -hmm. they look at it straight on. Yes. And then they, they basically start eating from a 45 degree angle from the front. So I'm just gonna kind of pick it up, if I don't goof it up, and put it right in just like that. Hopefully my flavors and doneness are exactly what they want. Close this up and we're in the turn in window, so I'm All gonna right. head that way. Okay, Thank you well very good much. luck. I'm not yep. gonna fist bump though, because I don't want you to drop your box. I'll do it. We'll I'll do elbow it. bump. Thank okay. you, thank you. <laughs> Tasty Bake, used by cooking professionals, perfect for tailgating, and portable enough to toss in your truck, RV, or boat. Solidly built for grilling, baking, or smoking. Packed with the same features of a full-size grill and built to deliver years of performance. Cook with precision and confidence. Hasty Bake, the undisputed champion with professional grade quality since 1948. Learn more at HastyBake.com. Hey, how Hi are there. you? How are you? How's it going today? I understand that you've come all the way from New Jersey to be here at the Gulf Coast. Yes, ma'am. Our families live down uh, in Tampa and Charleston, South Carolina, so uh, we're just doing a whole road trip heading on to Tampa. We, we figured we'd make a stop here first and do a little competition. Well, what more beautiful place, huh? It's beautiful. It's not New Jersey. You've got this tradition here of cooking with your top hat on. Tell me about that. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> um, this all kind of started from a, uh, a Halloween um, barbecue event. So, we, you know, they enticed you to come and dress up. And so I, I did the snake oil kind of salesman kind of guy, you know, with the hot top hat, <laughs> kind of old school, turn of the century type of figure. So it was fun to do that. And they just kind of kept it. <laughs> kept going with it. That's it. That's your thing. Well, I want to wish you good luck. We'll do it. Thank you. Blow it up. Nice all to right. meet you. Nice Appreciate meeting your time. You. Thank you. Hey Tim, you working What's on up? your steak here? Talk to us a little bit about how you trim your steak down and what you're doing right now. Okay, so basically on my trimming process, I'm getting all the excess fat off. I'm getting any kind of gristle off the spinalis. Um, just getting the shape kind of like I want it turn in. So, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna tie it up. And basically all this does is to hold the shape of the steak. That's mm -hmm. all it does. Um, Keeps it from curling, keeps right? It from curling, it curl. Keeps it from curling, keeps it from butterflying on the ends, flopping yeah. up. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's basically all that does. You don't want to tie it too tight. If you tie it too tight, then you're going to get wavy lines get, like this. Yeah, you don't want the lines. Because that steak's going to expand mm -hmm. as it cooks, so. All right, Tim, good luck. All right, thank you, ma'am. Just put my steak on and I am on the first little flip so that we can get good little either diamonds or squares, whichever way, however I can get my grill marks to lay right today. Um, last night, of course, we competed here and I didn't place in the top 10. 
I didn't do bad in terms of my scoring and so forth. I was only about nine points off of first place, so not too bad. So today we're going to try and um, make sure that we don't have um, too much salt. Yesterday I think it was a little, little saltier than it should have been. So today we're going for a less is more <laughs> approach. <laughs> I'm here with Daniel Mosnet of Cowboy Charcoal. Great to be out here with all these teams cooking great steaks and pork steaks. And, and one of the things that Cowboy, uh, the reason that Cowboy's a little bit different is, that was pretty fancy opening, <laughs> is our charcoal is all natural. And everything that we talk about is all natural charcoal. So when you're looking at each piece, you can see the wood that's in there, but mm -hmm. we don't use any unnatural binders where there's no clay, there's no limestone, everything in here is 100% natural. We bind our briquettes together with uh, vegetable starch. So all that we have in here is natural wood, charcoal fines that come from our lump charcoal process uh -huh. and vegetable starch and that's what binds it all together. So it yes. carbonizes really well, it burns hot, it burns hotter than most other charcoals that are out there. And, and you wanna use briquettes, they're all the same size. They're all gonna burn the same way and that makes it very easy when you're at home trying to get a nice balanced cook. Here, all these teams are using our great charcoal so we're happy to be a part of it and hopefully we get to taste some great steaks today. Oh yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Hey, Ron. Hey there. Hey, you got second place last night. Yeah. What are you thinking about today? Well, I'm cooking my practice steak right now. About, matter of fact, I'm about to go in and cut it, mm -hmm. check the doneness. Mm -hmm. We'll try the flavor, see what you think. What okay, you think? that sounds good to me. Good, I'm good. always up for trying. And I'm going to try this for doneness. We're going to cut it half. Look at that color. That looks awesome, yep. I'm going to say that's about a 10. All right, here is the big deal, okay? Okay. Let's go in for a bite. Actually, I think I need another degree on that. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Melts in your mouth. Mm. That's really good. The texture mm. is really good. This is a doneness chart that we're going by. And that's what and when I look for. at my steak, I see more nines in that than I do tens. So I probably want another at least degree out okay. of that steak. Wow. I so that's why I cook a practice steak. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Take a look really quick. Oh, it looks beautiful. Turn in wow. for steak base. Turn in and see what happens. See okay. Good luck. Thank you. Want a shot right here? Oh my goodness. Good luck. Your first one. My very first one. Hey, if you enjoy grilling or smoking, check out the new Bama Q website. Check out the full episodes along with cooking tips and recipes from a host of different championship pitmasters. Check out the store for a wide variety of Bama Q branded merchandise. It's the one site for all your cooking needs. Bama-Q.tv grilling on the golf. So we're going to start with seafood soup. Fifth place. First place. Okay, we're going to move on to pork steak now. Fifth place. Okay, we're gonna move on to steak A. Got a lot of competitive folks out there. 
tied between fourth and fifth, and that one was broken by taste. So, fifth place. <laughs> First place, biggest trophy here. Woo. Nice looking trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah. She's doing her happy dance. <laughs> her celebration dance. <laughs> Moving on to stake B, fifth place. First place. Okay, she got it again. Oh, it's so emotional when you work so hard to win these things, right? Yeah, you put your heart and soul in it. Hey, this is my beautiful wife, Miss Moo Magic. She had a rough time on State B, but man, I'm so proud of her. So we're here with the first place stake winner, Carrie Sharp. And what's really special about Carrie is that she went through a lot today and actually won first place. So Carrie, I want to ask you, take us through what happened today. I miscalculated my stakes. I didn't choose a good stake. But you have to do what it is when it comes to cooking steaks. You never know what the judges are looking for. How excited are you that you won this, huh? I'm so excited. This is awesome. She, she went out on the road and, and actually asked me to cook steak. Um, and, and I just took a back seat. She started cooking it, and I, I mean, and she hasn't looked back. So, luckily, she lets me cook a steak every once in a while. But I'm so proud. We're all proud of her. So, this this is one for the one for the team. Yep. Well, congratulations. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Well, we got the first and second place steak winners here, and you guys are a team you've been cooking together forever tell me about that um over three and a half years we've cooked about a thousand steaks we've been competing against each other for two and a half years so this is a love hate family situation yeah. right here how exciting is this that you guys actually both got a trophy well it's, it's really exciting i'd rather her get a, a, a trophy to me because you know it just you know it's amazing to see how somebody just feels when they get a call. Oh yeah. No matter what it is, first, second, or tenth. Yeah, this wow. This is the very first time we had one or two. Oh, no, that's very awesome. First time. And that's kind of feels so good. Yeah. Oh, it feels yeah. great. Well, congratulations, you guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, we're very happy for you, and thanks for coming. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having, for having us. us. Yeah. That wraps day two of grilling on the golf here at the Floribama in beautiful Orange Beach, Alabama. Congratulations to all the day two winners. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bama Q.